Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how I am going to be adding a 200 CFM fan into our RTX 3080 gigabyte turbo edition card, which is a single fan card. That way we can improve the thermal temperatures while mining Ethereum. So in my mix rig, I am having an issue with two of my RTX 3080 single fan gigabyte cards. Um, they're running too hot compared to the other cards. I'm guessing it's because they are single fan and it's not able to push out all of the hot air that's accumulating in the card. So what I'm going to do is upgrade that stock fan to a 200 CFN fan and see if that helps with keeping the temperature down. Okay guys, so I've never opened up this card. We're gonna see what the process is gonna be like. It looks like I just have to unscrew a few things. Um, maybe remove, this looks like a face plate. And this also looks like something else that you may wanna um, take out first. So let's start by taking this part off. Let's take this part off. That came right off. I'm gonna put it here with the screws. Um, this looks like a fan header. So this, this is what probably powers that fan in the front. Uh, maybe we can plug in that 200 CFN fan into here. Um, but first, let's just finish taking the card apart. Okay, um, wow, okay, this comes right off, I guess. Okay, so this is the fan. So this is the fan right here. I don't think we can remove this, to be honest. I don't see anything holding it back here. It might be mounted to the actual, to this actual frame right here. So what we're gonna do is probably just mount the 200 CFM fan in here. It's gonna push air into this other fan that's then gonna distribute the air to the sides because this type of fan is different than a typical fan that you use in your um, computer. This one throws air all around compared to a regular fan which pushes air through or through that way or pulls it out this way. So since this is gonna pass the air through the card, we're just gonna help it by pushing more airflow into it and see if that helps with the temperatures because even if I am able to remove this, the fan that I have is meant to push air through or back, not spread it out. So this has to remain for now. So it looks like we're just gonna have to put the card back together. Just really quickly though, this is pretty interesting. It looks like they are using some sort of different connectors in here that extend onto this part where the A-pin connectors go. Um, but yeah, let's put the car back together. We're just gonna attach that 200 CFM fan on there, see the temperatures increase. If not, then I'm just gonna have to replace the thermal pads on here. I did not wanna do that because the thermal pads that I have, I believe are too thick for this. So I'm gonna have to order some. And uh, I'm also trying to save those thermal pads for the other 3080s that I have that can push up to 100 hash rate once the thermal pads are replaced and I fix the thermal throttling issue that each one of those individual cards have. So let's just put this back together and we're gonna come back and attach that fan on there and see how it, see how it goes. All right, maybe we start, um, maybe we start here. Just a quick note, it looks like the design for this card is very efficient actually. Once you cover this, all of this is completely sealed off. Like there's no air going in and out through there. So it creates a chamber here that allows the air to escape only one way. All of this is sealed. There's no, no gaps or nothing. So the only way the air would go is this way and then out of the card back here. So actually very well designed compared to other cards that I've seen. I might have to zip tie it, to be honest, just because even if I use double-sided tape, um, 
to hold that fan in place. These things get hot and double, double sided tape has adhesive. And I don't know what the ratings are for that adhesive where it's gonna get too warm and might fall off and then the fan is spinning crazy and can create more damage. So I'm gonna zip tie it onto here just to see if it helps with anything. Um, if not, then we'll just have to, like I said before, upgrade the thermal pads and that's gonna be our only option if attaching a fan here doesn't help. So this is the external 200 CFM fan that we're going to be zip tying to the card. This is what it looks like once it's secured. We just have to cut the tips. So I figured out what the problem is. So the turbo addition card pushes air back and the fans are pushing air forward. So while they're both doing that, obviously the 200 CFM fan is pushing that hot air back into that chamber and it's keeping the card hot. So I mounted the card at the end. I moved the last two cards. I moved the 3060 Ti where the 3080 Turbo Edition was. That way this fan can stick out as much as it needs to and it's pushing the air into the card. Now the next step is going to be to go back into Hive OS and see if there's any improvements in the temperatures for this specific card. If this does work, I'm going to do the same thing to the other RTX 3080 Gigabyte Turbo Edition card. So after adding the fan to the 3080 Turbo Edition Gigabyte card, you can see the temperatures went from around 72. I have two of them. This is the one that I didn't do anything to. It's running at 72 degrees compared to the one that I've updated with the custom fan that I zip tied to the side of it. Obviously, that's the best way um, I can actually upgrade the fan since the fan that the card comes with is a different style fan than the one that I added but the temperature on that card is not 61 degrees. So I think it's well worth upgrading or adding an additional fan into that single fan card to bring down your temperatures. They are running around the same hash rate, but the temperatures are down. So I'm more comfortable having a card running at 63 mega hash with 61 degrees instead of 63 mega hash with 72 degrees. So I think adding this card was uh, definitely a success and I'm gonna be doing the same thing for my second card and we'll see how it performs within the next few days and hopefully the temperatures don't rise up again. Don't forget to share this video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to drop down a comment if you guys have any questions. I will see you guys in the next one.